Ciao guys and welcome back, I'm Luca and in today's video I'm gonna share with you why you should consider the 6K photo mode with the Lumix S cameras. Stay tuned. Since long time I was struggling with the problem of my workflow. I work as a one man band. Blah, blah. I work as a one man band. I'm an hybrid shooter, so I do both uh, photos and videos while I work. And while I was diving in the menu and settings with the Lumix S cameras, at one point I realized that there is a, an amazing function in this camera that I never thought about. And I'm talking about the 6K photo mode. You're probably thinking, yeah, look, everybody knows about these settings, but nobody cares. You should really consider this setting because it's pretty amazing. And I want to explain you why it is uh, extremely efficient for hybrid shooters. But let me show you how to enable this option with the Lumix S cameras. It's pretty simple. You just have to change two settings. To enable this option, we have to be in the photography mode. We go in the photography settings and we go in the option 6K 4K mode. We change the picture size to 6K and as a recording option we choose the burst mode. In this way every time we click the shot we're gonna start and stop the recording session. And after that we have to make sure that we are mapping in the burst mode settings. And every time we go to the burst option settings too we're gonna activate the 6K photo mode burst. The first, in my opinion, the main reason why you want to consider the 6K photo mode is that you don't have to make the decision if you want to take a photo or if you want to make a video in a specific moment. And that's huge. For me, it's huge. With the 6K photo mode, I just have to click record and then I'm done. The second reason why you want to consider this function is the overall video quality. The video quality of this 6K photo mode, that is not really 6K, it's more a uh, 5... 5K. It's not a 6K, but it's a 5K. I don't know why Panasonic is advertising as a 6K photo mode. So with this option, you're going to be able to record in 5K 10-bit 420 HAVC, so it's high efficiency, 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 I think that's right, high efficiency video codec, so it's H265, uh, 200 megabits per second, so if you consider it with the H264 codec, it's gonna be realistically a 400 megabits per second, so there is a huge amount of data and information in that codec. So it's pretty amazing. So everything is gonna be filmed at 30 frames per seconds. Don't be scared about it, it's not that bad. There is a lot of advantages of filming at 30 frames per seconds. You're gonna have more flexibility in post-production. You're gonna avoid the problem of uh, frame skipping while you do pan or tilt or you run around with your gimbal making uh, new trendy videos. Uh, it's not for me, but like you can do it. I don't judge and you can always add some motion blur in post-production so unless you have to deliver your products to broadcast clients it's not really a big problem to film everything in 30 frames per second the third advantage that you're gonna have with the 6k photo mode is the aspect ratio everything is gonna be filmed in, uh, with the aspect ratio of uh, 3 2 so if you're gonna work with a wide angle lens you'll be able to deliver both vertical videos or photos or horizontal or square. So it's a huge advantage for content creators for social medias. Hey buddy, what are you doing? Hey, hey Luca, I'm fine, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm yeah, I was a little bit busy. I was filming a video for YouTube at the moment. I'm actually still recording. So we are in the video Sorry. now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Then I... Uh, okay, then I will check it out then. All right, look. Okay, buddy. Then, uh, speak soon. Yeah, maybe. okay. Good luck. Ciao, ciao. So, recap where I was. Yeah. 
The fourth reason why you want to consider this option is because uh, I forgot. Yeah, because you have to deal with less files in the post production. So you're gonna just have to deal with the 5K resolution videos from where you can export 18 megapixel pictures. It's uh, quite good, in my opinion, for almost every situation. The fifth and the last reason why you want to use this option is because taking photos at 30 frames per second is pretty insane. You'll be sure that you're not gonna lose the moment. And it's pretty amazing both for sport and wildlife photography. And so this is it for today, guys. I hope that you liked the video. Show it, click the thumb up, share with your friends if you like, and consider to subscribe to the channel. I said good. And um, I'll see you next time. Thank you.